Oh, that's Elixu. Yeah, it's Elixir. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know Elixu. Um, he's gonna be fighting... Just Tom? Yes, yeah, I guess Tom. And, and uh, it's just Tom. Oh, yeah, you know Tom. Just watch it be Epic Gabriel or something like that. <laughs> Not a Gabriel, uh... Uh, Goblin, then what? Just something like Gabriel. Yeah, Devin, where are they from? Can you dox them for us? <laughs> Was that on or off stream? Is that an offer? Oh yeah, one is from New Jersey, one's from Connecticut. I'm pretty sure, um... It looks like it is New Jersey, yeah. Yeah. So Tom is actually a Connecticut player. He's actually our first, uh, quads... Oh wait, no, never mind. I haven't seen anybody from Mass or, uh, Rhode Island, actually. Which is really fun to me. Even though we opened it up to them. Hmm. Wait, did you, were you about to say quad state? No, sex state. No, 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 no. Okay. First of all, tri state is just New Jersey, Long Island, and New York City, and maybe like some part of Westchester. Long yeah. Island? What? This is really funny. I, it's funny to me that you think that Long Island is. No, 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 I'm just saying, like, not every single part of New York is included. You're in literally, the, you're describing the New York metropolitan area, but you're not incorrect. We also only named two states, which is really funny. Yeah, my favorite states are Tri-State, you know, New York, New Jersey, <laughs> the only two. <laughs> <laughs> we have a quad state, and then we have the two additions to make it a sex state. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ, stop exploding, man! Okay, there we go. He stopped exploding. Now I can actually, like... <laughs> <laughs> he said that a little bit too soon. Uh, why would you catch that on purpose? Ah! This is so hard to watch! Roy just does stuff and, like, Snake is just dropping explosives on his head and I'm like, man... What's... what's happening here? Bro! And... kaboom? Yeah, he's not... Oh, he's dead. Yeah. And then there's a nice play time to upbeat, he got like the hits through it. Uh, Mage chose to space it really, really well as well. Um, but right now, you know, this is Elixir stock to take definitely. He's trying to set up, um, you know, he's trying to either like set up a gold lead through the down throw, or at least get an up tilt at this point. Definitely won't be very difficult for them to get it much longer. Oh goodness. Yeah, you don't want to jump near Snake when you're at uh, up to a percent. You don't want to be near Snake when you're at up to a percent, unless, like, you have any disadvantage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I feel like Tom is just kind of not paying attention to where the uh, C4 is being planted, which is a really bad thing to not be in this matchup. Um, it's good that he's, like, exerting pressure this hard, but, like, he's just taking a lot of damage because he's not, like, paying attention to what, uh, what kind of setups are happening here. Mm -hmm. He has to double jump through it. He doesn't have a jump. No, no, never mind. He does now. Um, yeah, looks like he's just keeping him off stage for so long. Not able to cover the roll distance this time with his down smash. Okay, that's probably gonna be death unless he. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's see, see what I see what I said. See what I said. He wasn't paying attention to like what he wasn't paying attention to where Elixir was dropping the, uh, the C4s and he's oh getting absolutely God. murdered <laughs> for it. This is like the second the second that he did the back air, he should have like immediately gotten off the ledge and ran back on, but like he got himself set up again to try to hit him with back air one more time. And just wasn't aware of like where the C4 was and it caused him the match. Granted he was kind of in a bad position, but jeez, dude, come on. Yeah, guys, I'm I'm not really sorry, but I, I might need to wait a little bit for my clients to kick in. My my <laughs> allergies are kind of kicking my ass right now, and I'm I'm not I'm not doing too great. It's very difficult for me to get my words out. I'll be I'll be back more. in like 30 minutes if I'll be okay. So, sorry sorry right. about that. Feel uh, better. I'll jump in in a second. I'm gonna be really sorry about this. Yeah, we'll see. If you feel better, we'll see you soon. If not, then you know, have a good night. Yes, Adidas. That means goodbye in Spanish. Bye bye. I, I no, Adidas is a sneaker. What? <laughs> <laughs> Adidas? Oh my god, Dara, please. I can't, she, she left before I could even correct her. Oh my god. Whatever. You know what? Roy versus Snake. Um, this matchup can be kind of rough for both sides. Because it's like... Snake can do some crazy stuff. That was really good use of the uh, Nikita. To, uh, because he was like, Okay, Tom's going to probably delay it. Because I'm 
coming in kind of low. If I'm smart about this, I'll be able to get a nice, clean hit in. Ooh, good parry, dude! Nice parry! Even better, like, he got Tom directly underneath the C4 because uh, he decided to let it rip completely because I guess Tom was sure that he could get the hit. <laughs> why did he turn? I guess he was reading the roll. So that's why he turned around. Fair enough. Back throw, and... Ah, okay, I respect it. I don't respect that. That was not great. <laughs> I really respect the uh, the back air attempt from Alicia there. It was actually uh, pretty smartly placed. Unfortunately, Tom went directly over his head and he messed up his Nikita. He messed up his Cypher and Nikita by mistake, which you can't recover from that that quickly, this name, especially if you're like going that. If you're going down that quickly. And if you see Snake jumping up high, you've got to be careful. Being directly above or below him is extremely dangerous. Especially like if he has a C4 uh, already out. Or if he doesn't have a C4 out there. Mmm, okay. Well, that was a good approach. Uh, it did end up costing him a fair amount of damage. Tom got him some, uh, some solid hits. And the big thing about the matchup is that uh, if Roy hits Snake, there's actually a very strong chance that he's actually going to hit Snake away before the, uh, the grenade gets hit by the aerial. Uh, just due to the fact that, his, uh, that Roy's aerials actually have a bit of a head stop on them when they hit someone directly. Alright, cool footstool. Uh, Thomas plays super carefully here. This is going to end really poorly for him if he's not careful. And there it is! Oh! But good DI, not so good DI, I'm not really sure. Uh, ended up saving him there. And looks like Elixir's just looking for him to land on the C4, but Tom's not taking the bait. This might be the stock if he's careful. Oh, unfortunately not, so lucky. Ah, okay. So that was kind of interesting because it didn't look like Tom was actually close enough to the C4 to get hit by it, but because I guess his leg stretched backwards when he did the uh, neutral B, he was just in range and he got clipped by it. And that was the C4, and that was basically the C4. Just making the uh, a huge impact. And it was really interesting because Tom was paying super close attention to where the C4 was for that entire stock. Like he avoided it like six times. He actively moved around it each time. But at the end, like he just misspaced his uh, his neutral B just ever so slightly badly, and that cost him the stock. Now let's see who we got up next. Yep, looks like we're going to have potentially another round three match unless something else pops up quickly. Uh, nope, looks like it's all going to be, it's all like a fair amount of waiting, so let me see if I can get them in here. 